Pioneer Vision Women's Lacrosse Report, and I'm here with assistant coach Julia Steyer. And coach, you guys coming off two big NEC opening wins last week, two big offensive performances, especially against Long Island and Brooklyn. Uh, you had uh, 22 goals, which was a season high. And then a game on Sunday where you had your first uh, kind of second half comeback, we'll call it, uh, trailing at the half at Wagner, and you came back to win it 12-10. to 10. So 2-0 to start the NEC schedule. It's a great way to get going and you got two at home this weekend uh, with Monmouth and Mount so let's talk about last week's performances first talk about the team's effort in those two games you know when we played um, LIU we were just so excited to finally get into um, our conference play and the big thing there was that we needed to have an overall 60 minutes of team play and we have been stressing that all season long and um, you know even in that game we had a bit of a lull it wasn't a complete 60 minutes we do still have um, a little bit of concentration lapses but um, overall our attack was you know just finding each other, hitting each other, and um, our defense really started to pick it up. Um, the tough thing about LIU is that, you know, they are a young team, and they're very uh, rambunctious. They're much better than they were last year, and uh, they go on these streaks. And the hard thing about that is that um, despite what the score says, they were going on, like, a 3-0 streak with us, and we had to make sure we, uh, you know, clamp down on that. Um, against Wagner, you know, Wagner is a strong team this year. Their offense, everybody's a threat. So it was a little bit tough um, on our defense, and uh, our defensive unit really came through on that. And our attack, again, we had a bit of concentration lapse. I think we were uh, – uh, the score was 4-1, and then they had a 5-0 runabout. And um, the big thing was that, you know, we have to make sure we are completing 30 minutes, 60 minutes of um, complete team offense. And right now uh, we have a little bit of concentration lapse, but it's going to get better with experience. Let's talk about that offense and one of your, your you know, stars on the offensive side this year. I don't want to call it breakout season because, you know, it's tough to do that, but – a fourth-year senior, a player who has gotten better every year, and that's a senior attacker, RLA Plumakers. And she had eight goals against LIU Brooklyn, which was a school Division One record. She was named the NEC Player of the Week. Uh, if you could talk about maybe her progression as a player uh, in your time here as an assistant coach and what you've seen and what's been the difference for her this year that she's kind of put it all together. Arlie is a great story. She is just a player who is, you know, tenacious, and she will do anything to get out on the field. Um, in my time here, every time anything, you know, if she steps out onto the field, she'll be up in the office the next day asking what she can do better. And um, I think as far as, um, you know, coming out having kind of like, as you say, like a breakthrough kind of season, you know, I think she was just tired of being on the sideline. She's going to do everything to make sure she's going to stay on that field for the whole game. It's, a, it's just a great story because she is just such a hard worker and you can't wish it you can't wish this for someone other than her she's just such a great player and let's talk about the defensive side of things and uh, freshman goalkeeper Kelly Keenan was named the defensive player of the week and she's kind of been consistently strong for you guys all year you know she steps in as a freshman and, and gives you that consistency and goal that you kind of lacked at times last year um, and you know she's done a great job and she gets awarded this week with a conference uh, award Talk about her efforts and the players in front of her and what's helped you, uh, you know, as the season's kind of progressed, continue to get better and better defensively. Kelly is a very unique goalie. She's um, not a goalie that I've ever had uh, experience with. She's um, she When someone scores on her, she has a rebound rate of basically two seconds. Like She acknowledges it happens, and then she recovers quickly. And um, there's a couple things about Kelly that you don't see in the stats. She is such an auspi uh, auspicious goalie. She's everywhere in the crease, and she changes attacker shots. And you don't see that come up so much in the stats because a lot of times, you know, they're missing the cage entirely. And... Um, um, she's just, you know, consistent. She makes attackers work for a goal, and that's something that is really exciting to have this year. And um, our defense wants to play for her. She's such a fun goalie to have, and when she's in the uh, cage, when she's the backbone of the team, our team just works that much harder. And we said it earlier, 2-0 start, but this weekend you have two of the traditional favorites in the league, year in and year out, are always in the hunt for a playoff spot, if not getting there, in Monmouth and Mount. And these two games are always pretty critical when it comes to looking at the standings and, and where you position yourself uh, for a tournament spot. Talk about these two games coming up. Having them here on Capus Field, I'm sure, has got to make you and Coach Cook happy. Uh, but what do those two teams bring to the table, and what do you have to do to prepare? You know, it's nice that we have these two games at home, but the reality is, is that, um, you know, if any team can come out at any time. And, you know, and uh, the big thing for us is just, again, to come out, play a complete 
60 minutes of lacrosse. And um, the big thing right now is that we, uh, Coach Cook and I are always challenging the team. You know, we always have a challenge for them. We know that, you know, Monmouth is a high-flying. They're a strong team this year. They got a lot of experience. They have a ton of seniors. Their junior class is stepping up. They have a sophomore, Alex Marino, who is just phenomenal right now. And so we just got to make sure we really have a shutdown defense on them and uh, hope that our attack can, you know, finish their shots. And um, Mount, again, they have – there was um, Nicole Price is returning for her grad year. And, you know, they're just a really strong team, and they're great on the draw, and that's been one of our um, points that we are continuously getting better on this year. So hopefully if we get the draws, we do well on defense, team defense, offense is putting it together, we'll have a, a good weekend. All right, Coach, and again, Pioneers will take on Monmouth on Friday afternoon, Mount St. Mary's on Sunday. Uh, once again, good luck, good, good start to the NEC schedule. We'll talk to you again soon.